This is the PixInsight process tutorial for background neutralization. You can find it in process, color calibration, and here it is, background neutralization. So let's first talk what it is. Background neutralization neutralizes the background color-wise. So it actually independently for all three color channels, it sets them to a level of a neutral gray. The reason for that is that afterwards, when we want to do a color calibration, we want to do the color calibration based on the nebula, based on the stars, but not based on the background. And so to actually ensure that the background does not influence the color calibration, it has to be neutralized before we do the color calibration. So how is it done? First of all, it's crucial that before you do the background neutralization, you actually do a background extraction because we want to do it on a background which is already free of gradients of unnecessary light pollution so that this is removed. So I already did this, I did it with the automatic background extraction. Otherwise, nothing else was, been, was done on this picture until now. So the easiest way to do it, and you often hear that, is simply to take the triangle, throw it on there, and that's it, do nothing, simply let it run. So based on that, the tutorial could now be over, and we can move on. But there are better ways to do that. So the second option, which you hear probably most of the time, is that you actually create a preview of a place where there are no stars, where there's simply background, no nebulosity, no stars. So that's what I did already. I found this little, nice little space down here, which is really only background. So now you go to Reference Image, you click the image here on the, the icon here on the right, and you state that you want this preview. Okay, now what's this lower limit, upper limit? So the point here that if there would be no place at all on the whole picture where there's no star, and you would have something shiny in here, then you could actually lower here the upper limit so that this shiny thing is not included. But this is for me a hypothetical because there's always a place in your picture where there's nothing. You just have to look for it. So this method has the big advantage that we now really tell the process what the background looks like. So it doesn't have to guess it anymore, but we're very specific. Use this as a background model. The next is the working mode. The default is rescale as needed, which means it actually splits the three color channels up. And then when it puts it on the neutral level, if it would have to clip either the lows or the highs, then actually it would rescale so that nothing gets clipped, but only if needed. The rescale process is very close. It states that it also that it rescales, but it rescales always, not only when it's needed. So that's kind of pointless. Then we would have to truncate one where it would simply, if anything would have to be clipped, it wouldn't care, it would simply clip it. Also, this I feel rather far-fetched. It's probably never getting used. Now the target background is kind of an interesting thing. If you select that, then you can actually tell what value this target background should have, and you can actually set this here. So let's go to, to rescale as needed because that's default, that's in 99.99999% of the cases, the thing you should do. We actually specified here a reference image, and now we just throw the triangle on there. And I think you realize when we did it before without this reference image, really nothing happened. It looked exactly the same as before, but now it changed. It got a little bit darker. Let me undo that. And you see it got a little bit brighter and bluer again. So let's do it again. And you see a little bit darker, a little bit more reddish. So it has an impact. Now that is also proof that Setting this preview and entering it here is something you really should do. And you should not just throw the triangle on there without adding a reference image. So now what is the region of interest? And that's kind of interesting because you always hear this reference image as the way to go. But PixInsight in principle says, no, 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 don't do it like this. So we're 
setting this whole thing now back to the default so that in here is target image so instead of actually entering the preview here we click the region of interest and now we state from preview and we choose here the preview okay and now we run it and you will realize that the effect is exactly the same as here so at the end i feel it's a personal preference at the end both are the same and if you find this more convenient or this up here it's really up to you the main thing is that you do one of these two things which one doesn't really matter it leads to exactly the same result i hope this was helpful so see you with the next process and clear skies Thank you.